The final matchups are set at the 2013 U.S. Youth Soccer Region 4 Championships as teams battled in today's semifinals at Waipio Peninsula Soccer Complex in Honolulu, Hawaii. Champions in the under 13 through under 19 boys and girls will advance to play for the national championship next month. The under 18 boys, Boise Nationals Premier of Idaho, are back in the regional final for the first time since 2010 after defeating Santa Clara Sporting 94 of Cal North. Lane Liston scored the only goal of the game, just five minutes in as the game turned into defensive battle to end 1 0. Nationals fell in the semifinals to the eventual champions last year after being eliminated on tiebreakers in the group stage in 2011. Prior to their finals appearance in 2010, the Nationals were eliminated in the quarterfinals on a 3-0 result by Albion U.S. of Cal South, their opponent in tomorrow's final. Under 17, girls Sparta United of Utah advanced to their first Region 4 final thanks to a 2-0 defeat of hosts Honolulu SC Bulls. After a scoreless first half, Madison Lions struck the game winner three minutes after the break and then Tori Smith followed up with the insurance goal in the 69th to send Sparta into the championship match. Cascade FC Boca Juniors of Oregon won their third straight game by a 1-0 score to advance to their first regional final, defeating the Cal South State champs, Corinthians SC 96 and the under 16 boys. Boca Juniors haven't advanced to the knockout round since 2009 and 2010 when they were quarterfinalists and semifinalists, respectively. Christian Bernal Rintiera scored the lone goal of the game for Boca Juniors in the 18th minute as the defense held him firm once again for a finals appearance. So the experience has been great. We've we battled uh, Fullerton, who's been the national champion uh, two years in a row. We battled with them. We had some good battles, and we knew that we had what it takes to make it to the final. This Far West Regional Championship, we've been here for the past four or five years, and it's just an incredible experience. It's so, when you walk out onto the fields and you see there's a lot of people here, so it feels kind of exciting to get to play on these nice fields, a lot of people here, a lot of people watching. It was a great experience. So this year, we knew that we wouldn't let so another team decide our fate. We had to decide our own fate by winning games. And so our whole lookout on the tournament was just get things done, not put, not put our fate in other teams' hands. And that's what we did. Under 18 girls, Arsenal of Colorado twice came back from a goal down to defeat players SC of Nevada, 4-2, and advanced to the championship game after falling in the semis last year. Players took the early lead just two minutes in through Brianna McCallum before Haley Murphy leveled for the Arsenal in the 26th. Players responded by taking the lead again 12 minutes later from Victoria DeWitt to head into the breakup 2 1. It was all Arsenal in the second half though, as they equalized again in the 59th on a Corey Wheeler goal and then took their first lead in the 73rd from Paige Chase. This time winding down, Katie Kupras netted the insurance goal to finish things. 4-2 for Arsenal. After opening the tournament with just two goals in a 2-0 win, under 15 boys, FC Golden State Platinum of Cal South have rolled off four straight games, scoring three goals, with three of those coming with a defensive shout-out like today's 3-0 win over Crossfire Premier 97 of Washington. Manuel Chavez set the tone for Golden State with the first two goals in the 10th and 24th minutes and Josh Arevaldo added the third before the halftime to set up a Cal South Championship rematch against the defending national champion, Santa Barbara SC. Under 13 boys, SC Del Sol 2000 of Arizona moved in the championship match this year after failing to advance from their group in 2012. This year, Del Sol is proving their medal as they knocked off the defending champs, Pateadores of South Cal in group play. And today, avenges their only group loss by taking down Rangers FC 2000 of Utah 1-0. Rangers had beaten Del Sol by the same score on Wednesday. 
but the Arizona side took care of business when it mattered to set up yet another match with the Teodores in the final. Carter Clemenson was the hero with the game-winning goal for the Del Sol in the third minute and held it up for a victory. Eastside FC 98 Red of Washington was not only the first team to beat Pride Predators 99 of Colorado this week, they were also the first team to score on the Far West Regional League champion as Eastside advances to the Undergirls 14 final. The first goal for Eastside came in just three minutes into the game on a McKaylee Moore strike and they extended the lead before 10 minutes through Zoya Milburn. Pride got back in the game with Brianna Alger's 21 minute goal, but that was all the scoring as Eastside advanced to settle their group stage draw versus La Roca of Utah. Under 15 girls National League champion Carl Battle of 97-98 Cal South are on a roll at the regional championship, winning all five games without giving up a goal after defeating Albion USA at Cal South 1-0. Already assured of a berth in the national championships next to their first place finish in the National League this season, Carlsbad wants the Region 4 title as well. Kelsey Agnes scored the winner in the 20 minute and the defense kept their form to deliver the trip to the finals. Going into the game, we were super hyped, super excited, ready to go. It's been really fun. Um, it's cool atmosphere, getting to watch games before you play, and everybody's super excited to be here. It's just been really fun getting to see even your own club play, and other clubs from California even, and clubs from Idaho and other places. It's been a cool atmosphere. We're just excited for another another tournament like this because it's been so fun. We just love the competition and we're excited to see how far we go and hopefully win it. For us to bring this into the final right now, uh, you know, is uh, is exciting for everybody. Great uh, achievement for the team. It was always going to come down to one goal today. I felt uh, for either team, so we got it and uh, you know we move on to the final, which is uh, fantastic. <laughs>